This is the best convention I've ever been at. Blood for the blood god. Dude, you're the guy with all the Chaos Space Marines. I'm a wargamer. That thing Henry Cavill was talking about? That's Warhammer. The IP is vast and includes video games, action figures, novels, but most importantly, a tabletop miniature war game. I'm not kidding. I stayed up all night. I'm concerned. And there's over a thousand people in this room, and I'm stressed. Typically, a hobbyist paints and plays battles on beautifully constructed tabletops, but for us wargamers, the ultimate gaming experience is undoubtedly conventions. Mini Wargaming Dave here from miniwargaming.com, and this is a Decepticon! A couple of decades ago, a group of wargaming friends near Chicago got together and organized an event the likes of which the world had never seen. Today, Adepticon continues to be the pinnacle of tabletop miniature wargaming experiences, which combines the painting hobby, tournament battles, hobby workshops, and ultimately provides a massive playground for friends to meet up and collaborate. This year, my goal was to showcase miniatures I created with a board game company called Lazy Squire Games. We were shocked when our crowdfunding campaign for chaotic miniatures made over one million dollars. The wargaming community really wanted this to happen. So we were here to set up our exhibitors booth and show off some plastic. If we can accomplish this, perhaps I'll achieve the ultimate victory condition. What is that you might ask? Well, to be absolutely honest, I'm not actually quite sure at this moment in time. Perhaps through the preparations and experience of the convention, we'll discover that. It's like, it's like camping things for a tent. Like a glove. Mini Wargaming, Badger Games. Yes. Jiki, hi, how are you? Fantastic, and you? Excellent. Working? Working, yes. Yes, all right. I came here to work, yes. However, all of the other exhibitors piling in got me really distracted and I just wanted to say hi. On a regular day, this would be no problem. Until this happened. Glass everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, no one was hurt. Serves us right for getting distracted, right? Said anytime yeah. you want to work out, dog, you let me know. <laughs> Combination, I feel stronger and weaker standing next to him. With only 24 hours to go, we were ready to publicly reveal what Ravage Star is all about. I was a bit nervous. I didn't know what people were gonna say or how they were going to react. But it wasn't until we got to see the faces and the expressions and the reactions of people. Yeah, I wanna paint that model so bad. And because of the, the detail, if you're a first time painter, you do the slap top, it's so easy. And what would you name this guy? I'm thinking something like Thorgar. Thorgar. I would name him as Thorgar. What would you name him? And so what we're looking at is really it's, it's thousands of micro decisions from the community. Right. And this is the result. Showing off the miniatures was an immense joy and dare I say a massive dopamine dump that fueled my flesh suit to operate on an unhealthy amount of sleep. Apple cores for the core god. You painted my slanesh bits. I did, I painted your slanesh bits. This is the best convention I've ever been at. I've been at quite a few other conventions. First time at Dev's gone. I've had the most fun I've ever had at a convention. The atmosphere is cool. Yeah. The people are cool. The terrain is ins inspirational. Yes. The painting is amazing. And there's awesome people like Dave here. Something's about hey, get hot. Get hot? What's gonna get hot? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? You know what's amazing is these people behind us are the reason that we're able to be here doing what we're doing. Yes. These Isn't are the people. Cool? Yes. These Isn't are our patrons. Cool? Yes. We These have the best jobs in the world. Best ever, dude. Dude. I know. Ah! Guys, Dave from Mini Wargaming would like us to hang around until he comes back. Are we cool with that? Yes. He just read my mind. I didn't even say that out loud. <laughs> Bumping into these guys was so much fun, which is why I explored even further and ended up in a hotel room with a bunch of familiar personalities. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com here with all of the YouTubers in the Wargaming community. 
it. Not all of them, but most of them. What? Some of them. Whoa, look at that. Get that. Tom Hanks. I love it, man. Yeah, Casey and Mammakin. Dude, so you're a good person who likes people. I can feel it in your hand right now. It made it all the way around the room, and I think we're done here now, huh? <laughs> Was hanging out into the wee hours of the morning my ultimate victory condition? I decided to let that settle a bit more. Adepticon has been absolutely amazing. It's been amazing to see the different exhibitors set up their booths and passionately display the things that they love to share. Ravage Star. It looks wonderful. You have all this lovely striation and all the shell, and it looks super nice. Like for a painter who's not super comfortable, this will take a wash super nicely and look really awesome and all poppy because you have all that detail built into it. If a model range gets me excited to want to put paint on it, I know something's right. No, this is good stuff, man. Like, even when you sent me the first models, I was very surprised at the amount of detail that, that the PVC had. Yeah. Yeah, and so far they've been really fun to paint. This is cool. This feels like that's, yeah, that's how he shoots you across the field. Yeah. I appreciated the perspective of a painter and hobbyist. Trash. This is trash. <laughs> I love the, the detail in the sword. Mm -hmm. the, the organic shapes are very interesting. It would have creative, interesting reflections from the ground. Ah. My overall thoughts on the day? It went fantastic. I expected to be tired, but being an extrovert and receiving energy from people is something that happens to me. I went out there and I explored again. There was so much encouragement and excitement and support and community and people. How could it not have been a fantastic day? This is exactly what I was hoping for. And yet, amidst all of this, was I achieving my ultimate victory condition? To explain this as it relates to the tabletop, my friend Nick Nanavati would do a much better job explaining this. Like in most games, Warhammer 40k also has victory conditions. There's primary objectives and secondary objectives which you can customize. Together they add up to your composite score of up to 100 points. The goal for the game is to score more points than your opponent over the course of five turns. At the end of five turns, you count how many points you got, and your opponent, whoever has more, has won. Thank you, Nick. The convention wasn't over yet, so I was still on the search for this. I don't like that it sits out. Okay. One of the hallmarks of a great convention is cosplay, as is evidenced by Alex, who spent over a thousand hours crafting his own Space Wolves power armor. I've been wanting to do this for years, but I gotta say, the best part was the interaction with the community. Boros! I shouldn't be listening to these voices. I mean, let's face it, who wouldn't want to be a champion of humanity? Who wouldn't want to sing a saga of glory? I might have trouble giving you my name badge. All those for the Emperor are allowed in. This is such a good workout. Oh, it is good. Gonna be destroyed tomorrow. I didn't know that I would need to relearn how to walk or that the sweat would come out in buckets. Mike Brent? Oh. I'm not kidding. I stayed up all night. Truth be told, I didn't sleep the night before. There was an unknown health risk that I was unaware of. I was starting to feel the fatigue massively. All of a sudden, it just kicked in. I'm, I'm concerned. We just want to make sure that, hey, we're not going to kill you on this. It catches you by surprise. OK. You take it nice and slow. The energy was draining very quickly. The more static you stay, I think the more endurance you're going to have, dude. Dave, are you in any capacity to sign a book for me? You still feeling OK? Good pace. There was no sleep that was had. There was no data organization of my brain. There was one long continuous motion of hours stacked up against each other, culminating in this one single moment. There was a definite moment of sadness, grounding to reality that I desperately needed. Growing up as a kid in Canada, we didn't really have too much. We lived a pretty modest lifestyle. We kind of grew up poor. I even remember being embarrassed, being dropped off at school, because my parents had a rusty car. I recognize that things are relative. I come from a family of quiet, reserved people, which inherently isn't right or wrong. It just simply was the environment surrounding me as a kid. As a teenager, I discovered mood swings, massive mood swings. I'd feel depression, so much so that it would render me completely unmotivated. 
It wouldn't be until years later, as an adult in my early 20s, I would discover that I actually have bipolar. And growing up in a culture at the time when mental illness had a stigma attached to it, it wasn't a very popular thing to admit and that it was even a thing that was real. When it comes to things that aren't as visibly obvious, it's harder for people to recognize it. Specifically, it was drama class in high school that broke me out of my shell. I discovered at a young age that I could elicit a reaction out of a group of people and it generated joy. It generated a feeling of belonging. It created a feeling of community. And I suppose this is why starting a YouTube channel all those years ago really resonated with me. I wanted to share that part of me that was fun and exciting as it related to games on the tabletop something I really enjoyed doing growing up. Over time, I gradually discovered that there is a much deeper meaning to the hobby. This connection of community has consistently become the number one thing that brings us together on the tabletop because it serves as a cathartic experience for them or to get together with a group of friends and play games and engage in something else that doesn't include stress and anxiety, but generates joy and excitement. As much as we're able to be horrible, be ugly, be the worst possible versions of ourselves, there is hope. And I believe it is that hope that drives us of people and the goodness that can be found in community. This was a dream come true for me. To my fortune, I did have Mike from Dragonfall and I had Alex and his wife really take care of me and be really cognizant of my well-being. That was awesome. My socks, pants, shirt, drenched in sweat, but that's okay. We had to move on. There were still more people to meet for Ravage Star. Now I heard rumors that you're known as the Critter Queen. <laughs> Meeting Kaylee and her friends from the mental health charity Painters was particularly special to me. The main reason when I started this two years ago was because I was diagnosed with PTSD. And over the last two years, we've raised $7,500 for different organizations around the world. This is an important voice in the community. This is acceptance. For a long time, I was ashamed to share this part of me. It's something that I accept, right? I don't try to ignore it or deny it or not talk about it. It's one of a trillion things that makes me me. We tell it like, hey, if you have a mental thing, you want to talk about it, you can. And we make sure that everybody in our chat and they know this is a safe space. Yeah. I'm sweating right now. Not because I have a hoodie on, but because I have PTSD and there's over a thousand people in this room and I'm stressed. It's part of the reason Rage up. that I've learned to keep things bubbly and how to view it. Yeah. Because if you don't change your mindset, that darkness takes you down. It takes you down. It was great to receive this little fox from Kaylee and every time I heard her hat ear squeak, <laughs> it just added instant happiness. At the close of this day, I met a family that had exclusive Warhammer items go missing. So I told my friend Calvin at the GW store. You give these three kids. Okay. Hey boys. What? That's something awesome for you guys. Here, here buddy. Buddy. Well, no, buddy, buddy, bud, bud. You guys can share. Seeing their dad give them the models and witnessing the reaction reminded me of my own kids. Like there was you like heard about your story about how your models void space. were lost. I want to work okay, and you know what? Oh, no. When I heard that, I told oh. my buddy. He came back here. He gave it to your dad, okay, and your mom and your grandpa, right? You guys looked. You shouted. You used your voice, right? This is what happens when you use your voice. Things happen when you use your voice. Dude, it's family. That's what you are. When I did that, I was very emotional. I am almost emotional right now at this. <laughs> My experience at Adepticon had me searching for the ultimate victory condition. And I looked for it in many different places. 
And after experiencing these few days, as cheesy as this sounds, I feel like the victory condition was already achieved. It's all about love. It's really what it is. How does one put a price or a value on that? If it takes a few hundred people to break down that shell of trying to find this epic and glorious victory condition in life when it comes down to it, it's pretty simple. Just love people. Just accept them. Be open to them. Give a listening ear. Try to see from their perspective. I can tell you this. It's that acceptance from the community. That was my victory condition. And it wasn't one that I found because I was looking for it. It's one that found me. It found me because that's what is found in the wargaming community. You're going to form those friendships. You're going to form those relationships. Build upon those experiences. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. You're going to feel victorious. And it'll be surrounded with friends and loved ones around a tabletop playing with miniatures. Now for the heroes that you don't see, to the entire volunteer staff and all the others who I haven't met. Or Lisa, who provides massages for Wapple Fort to create a space for creatives, to Games Workshop to create the reason for us to gather together to my business partner, Matt, who really, let's face it, this guy's a genius. Without him, I wouldn't be doing this today. And Lazy Squire Games for partnering with us to create this reason for us to play on the tabletop. Adepticon is our home. It is where we go to recharge from the world. It's where war gamers meet to discover a different side of themselves to expand upon their creativity and life and excitement. I'm Mini Wargamer Dave, and this is Adepticon. It's gonna be a tricky edit. Oh, it's gonna be raw, baby.